Hi friends, welcome to GT Coding. In the last video, we had learned about the document object model. So in this video, we will learn how to access uh, the different elements in our document. So we'll look at different uh, methods that we have. So first of all, let me add some elements to my HTML document. So here I will link my CSS, style.css and uh, here I will link the script main.js so in our body we will create some basic HTML elements so that we can access them using JavaScript so first of all I'll create a division with an ID of special box and in that I will create a division called circle after that we will create some divisions called box we'll create three divisions then we will create two sections so in the first section we will write this is a section and the second section should have a class so we will have a class called section 2 and here we will write this is another section and at last we'll have some list items inside our ul so we'll have five of them so this is our basic structure and uh, let me just style this so we'll have box sizing of border box and uh, for our body we will have a font family of lateral and a font size of 20 pixels and then we will have uh, the styling for our special box so here we will have the width, a width of 300 pixels height of 200 pixels background color of 399309 and uh, display flex align items to center so this will align the circle that is inside our box so now we will style the circle so special box circle and here we will give it a width of 150 pixels and uh, a height of 150 pixels then we will give a border radius of 50% and a background color of EEE so we will also center everything so margin 0 auto now we will style all the boxes so box width of 300 pixels and height of 72 pixels and text align to the center and at last we will style the section so here we will have a padding of 16 pixels so now we have styled everything now we will go to our main JS and uh, learn how to access each of these elements so the first method I'm going to talk to you about is called the get element by ID method so to access that you have to type document dot get element by ID and in that you have to pass the ID of your element so here we have an ID of special box so if you want to get that element you have to type document dot get element by ID and in here you have to type the ID so special box so if I call this method using this parameter I will get this whole division as a result so I will type const and I will just type special box now our special box contains uh, this division over here so we can access that and manipulate it so what we will do is we'll just change the background color so special box dot style dot background and we will change it to red so here we can see we have accessed our special box division using JavaScript by using this method called get element by ID. So in this way we can access any element that has an ID using this method. 
So now let's look at some other methods that we have. Now if you have a division and you have a class, then you can use the other method called get elements by class name. So we'll just type const boxes document dot get element by class name and here we will pass the class name so the class name is box so one thing you have to remember is that this is not a single element so this is a collection so you cannot do boxes dot style dot background and set it to something that you want so this will not work so you have to access each of the individual elements so if I type boxes 0 and um, if I press save we can see the first box has the style applied if I say boxes 1 then the second box will have the style applied to it so if you want to change the style of all the boxes you can use a loop for example if I type 4 let i equals 0 and i is less than the length of our boxes and i plus plus so if you don't know about loops i have a separate video about loops so you can watch that so inside here we can type boxes and in here we will pass the value of i so it will go from zero to the length of our boxes so here we can type style dot background and here we can set it to pink now all the boxes will have the style applied to it so this is how you can use the get elements by class name method now the other method is called get elements by tag name so we have two sections over here if you want to access only the sections in our document we can use this method so I will type sections document dot get elements by tag name so here I will type section and it will contain all the sections that we have in our document so now if you want to change some styling for our section we can use a for loop just as we did with our boxes so we'll go from 0 to sections dot length I plus plus so for our section we will change uh, the border so I will type sections i dot style dot border equals two pixels solid green so here we can see we have the green border applied to all the sections that we have so even if we have a class for our sections it doesn't matter it will just look at all the tags that we have called sections so this is also a useful method if you want to just access the elements using the tag names now the next method is called query selector so I will just type const I will just access the circle that we have inside our special box over here so here we will just type document dot query selector so here you can pass parameters just like you do in your CSS so in CSS we mm, write like this special box dot circle so this will access the circle class in our special box ID so this same thing can be done using the query selector so if I'll just copy this and paste it over here it will access the circle so here we will just go to circle and change the background color to something we will change it to black so here we can see we have our style applied to our circle so if you have used jQuery this is exactly how you uh, access the elements in jQuery now the last method that I'm going to show you is called query selector all so I'll just type items and type document dot query selector all and here I will type ul and all the allies in our ul so we have our ul over here and we have five allies so this method is going to access all the allies in our ULs. So since we have this all over here, so this will return a collection. So we can loop over everything that we get as a result. So let i equals zero and i is less than items dot length. And we will increment i. 
and here we can type items and uh, there is a method in uh, javascript called inner html which can be used to write html using javascript we want to have an anchor tag in all our list items so here we will type href will have a single quote over here so here we'll type hash and uh, we'll type item and then we will have a value of i plus one so if the value of i is zero it will be one over here and then we will uh, close our anchor tag so if i'll save this we see that we have accessed all our list items and we have even written some html inside our list items so these are the basic ways of accessing the different elements in your html so using these techniques you can access any element that you have in your html and you can modify it to your needs so that's it for this tutorial I hope that you have learned how to access uh, the elements inside an HTML in JavaScript using these different methods and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.